Okay, I feel I owe you an explanation. Coming home suddenly and finding me on the sofa with a young woman. Her name's Frieda, by the way. Not that we were doing anything apart from talking. But that wasn't what sent you storming out, was it? It was when she said she was my granddaughter. You immediately thought I must have had a long-standing affair. It was nothing like that. We're talking 50 years ago. You know, I got a job at the Isle of Wight Pop Festival and you looked after our baby son. It was the biggest festival ever held. It was unbelievable. Thousands flocking to the Isle of Wight. It was like a revolution. My job was to drive round the site, delivering Indian food to these little cafes, doing handbrake turns in the wet, while the guy in the back held on and clung on to the pots of curry. I loved it. Some of the biggest bands of the time were there. Not that I saw any of them. I was busy driving around the site, buying food for the chefs and picking up hippies and dropping them off back at the site. Of course, what I didn't tell you was about the young woman who walked out of the mist and plonked herself down next to me. I'd been asleep watching a band. It was no affair, not really. She could hardly speak English. That night, we saw the who from my sleeping bag and we went back to the van and spent what was left of the night in the back. The only thing she said to me, which I understood, was that if she had a baby, <laughs> she'd call it festival. I never saw her again. I got the sack and left the site. Anyway, I've seen Frida a few times since. In the pub, not here. She agreed to a DNA test. It was just a spit. The tests are due any day now. But, well, anyway, apparently... She was brought up by her grandmother, who wasn't a grandmother 50 years ago. Her mother, possibly my child, disappeared when Frieda was young. Her grandmother told her she'd have given her mother a secret middle name. Her grandmother asked Frieda if she could try and find me. That was a tough ask. But she managed. Oh, sounds like a postman. Yeah, right. I'll let you know.